Grant Stone is known for making high quality boots, dress shoes, and loafers. In fact, Grant Stone's diesel boot is one of my all time favorites. So when I discovered that they make a sneaker, I had to find out if they carried the same quality and materials and craftsmanship of their other footwear. Are they making the real deal here? Or are they just attempting to cash in on the casual sneaker craze? Welcome to Stray Reviews, I'm Lee, and I review products from lifestyle brands to help you make informed decisions when you go out to spend your hard earned dollars. And kicking off our new sneaker series today, I'm gonna to be reviewing the Grant Stone Coast Sneaker and Saddle Tan. If you wanna take a little closer look at them, you can go to their website. There is a link in the description below. The Coast is considered a dress sneaker. It's crafted from battle assy vegetable tan leather, and that's a leather that's made in Italy, and it is thick and sturdy, and yes, it smells amazing. This sneaker is lightly padded on the inside. It has a full grain leather lining and it has a rough out heel stop to prevent heel slippage. The Coast also comes with a Vibram rubber cup sole and it is stitched along the side for added durability. Now these sneakers run for $282 and they're made in China. Are they really worth it? And can I see myself putting something like this in my regular shoe rotation. We're gonna talk about that as we go over the good, the bad, and the bottom line of the Grant Stone Coast Sneaker. Okay, let's start off with the good of the Coast Sneaker. Now, I'll just say up front, there's a lot to love about this sneaker. Quality of materials on this sneaker is outstanding. The vegetable tan leather is really the most uh, durable feeling leather I have ever felt on any sneaker. In fact, they really should change the name from battle assy to bad assy because it is tough as nails. Also, the leather lining on the inside is smooth and it's soft and it just seems to welcome my feet when I put them on. Also, these sneakers look great with just about anything I put on with them. They're pretty comfortable too. I don't know whether to call them um, comfortable casual shoe or kind of a transcended speaker. Now, disclaimer, obviously I wouldn't play basketball in these. I wouldn't run a mile in them either. I wouldn't play any sports with them, but for everyday wear to the office or parties or on a date, they really can't be beat for looks and feel. Because these sneakers are built kind of like a Goodyear welted boot, they're probably gonna age like one too. The saddle tan leather, it's gonna develop a patina and it's gonna give them a unique appearance and character the longer you wear them. And that's really something I can't say about any other sneakers I've ever owned. I've never been able to look at a pair of my sneakers and say, those are gonna patina beautifully. So what about the bad of the Grant Stone Coast sneaker? Well, I don't really have much to complain about here. However, if you're used to putting on a new pair of sneakers and just experiencing this sort of like instant sneaker light comfort, you're gonna want to exercise a little patience here. This is actually the first pair of sneakers that I've ever owned that actually need to break in a little. And just like a boot needs to break in for the leather to soften up, the same is true of the Coast sneakers. The veg tan leather is thick, it's stiff, and it even squeaks a little. But the longer I have them, the softer and more comfortable they become. I'm actually curious, have you ever owned a pair of sneakers that you needed to break in before they were comfortable? And if so, would you let me know what they were in the comments below? The bottom line is that the Grant Stone Coast sneakers are kind of like the Mercedes of sneakers. They're luxurious, they're meticulously crafted, they're made of high quality materials, and they have a real classic style to them and it makes them worth, in my opinion, that $282 price tag 
depending on your budget. These have quickly become one of my favorite pairs of sneakers and they make it a lot easier for me to put the boots away for the coming warmer months. And I even keep shoe trees in these sneakers, which says a lot because I don't usually keep shoe trees in my sneakers, but I like these so much. I wanna thank Grand Stone for providing these sneakers for review. As always, these are my honest opinions. <laughs> hey, if this video was helpful to you, I wanna invite you to tap that like button so that other people can be helped by this video too. Thank you so much for watching and we will catch you next time.